Hi, I am Dhawal Kumar Surti and in this specific video, I will talk about common mistakes which are being made while qualifying an autoclave. So, autoclave qualification is a very, very critical activity. Autoclave is a very critical component. Our entire stylization of the content is depend on how successfully we qualify our autoclave. Being a critical part, it has to be qualified appropriately. So, we will talk what common mistakes we are making while qualifying an autoclave load in this specific video. This is my first video for this specific topic and I will make more such videos. And please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so that uh, first uh, common mistake is autoclave load itself. Many people used to put too much of the items, too many items within a load. And it starts with the load design. So, your load design should be such that you put a similar type of items. For example, if you are having a filling assembly load, the, the content and components which are related to the filling part, you put that components within a load. Don't put, put other things like sanitization load items or stoppers and seals and people. Like, if you put so much thing in a load, it will not be possible for a st uh, st not be possible uh, proper steam penetration too dense load like items put together so close or touching each other, each, each other stacking on uh, each other like if you keep a garment bag and another garment bag on that or stopper bag and seal bag one above other so there will be no space in between for steam to penetrate and will, you will not get the proper steam penetration or temperature profile within that specific item. We will go on investigating why we are not getting the proper load item and we will never find a root cause. And that will be our dense load. So, you should allow some space. Either you put bags vertically, prepare stands, as a stands are there. You can put your loads in stand, so there will be enough space between two load items, so steam can penetrate, that is one. Then you should classify your load for your need. As I said, filling assembly load, stopper load, stylized seals load, aluminum seals load, garment load, and the non-critical items like the SS bucket for the sanitizers and the mops and all that. You can keep a separate load so it will not mix with your critical items. It will not impact your critical items. So, the load arrangement is the first part where we should focus how we are defining our load. Second thing is how we are arranging our components. For example, if I have a rubber stopper bag. So, one, be, one side is a paper side and other side is polythene side, right? So, if you are keeping your polythene side upwards, then what will happen? Uh, then the steam penetration will be there and, and, and the condensate will drain out from the paper side. It will be easy for the condensate to remove from the, uh, from the bottom of the paper or through the paper. But if you are keeping polythene side down and if there is condensate, so that condensate will accumulate at bottom of that bag and it will get accumulated and it will be it the, 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 that specific part will not may not achieve the desired temperature and you can have a failure if you are arranging heavy load item big load items on your top shelf it will generate a lot of condensate and that condensate will go to the bottom shelf part and they will get more condensate and you may not get the desired temperature at that uh, bottom part or middle shelf uh, load items. So, it is also practically easy to put big load items on the lower shelf and small load items on the your top shelf. So, it will make your load arrangement easy and your steam penetration easy. So, two things one is you should allow enough space between the load item, you should uh, ergonomically place load, load items such that the, it will be easy for the condensate removal from that uh, load items. The containers which are open containers or uh, uh, for example, it's a, if it is a vibratory bowl, if you are keeping in uh, this position, upward upright position, then it is possible that lot of condensate will be generated and it will be accumulated on the bottom. So, 
try to have a, a positioning inclined or su uh, such that uh, that condensate may not be formed or it can be easily drained out or you can try to uh, plan to have a placing them uh, downwards so that there will be no lot of uh, steam uh, condensate accumulation within that bowl. For the small bottles, you should uh, uh, open your uh, this thing uh, cap cover and put so that it will be easy for the steam penetration. Or you we can have a crack open, and and once your uh, this cycle is complete, while unloading you can close. And that unloading, even know it will be under LF, so it will not have any impact on the sterility part of it. So this is a few important tips and I will make more such video, I do not want to make a very lengthy video. So these are the two important topics we discuss, one is your load, uh, one is your this load size, how big your load size is and, and second is load arrangement. Hope this will be helpful, thank you, thank you for watching my video.